Learn about the basic and advanced toolbars and how to customize a toolbar, create a new toolbar, and manage multiple toolbars. When you start Illustrator, a toolbar appears at the left of the screen that includes various tools you need to use while working on your document. These powerful tools in Illustrator let you draw, select, move, edit, and manipulate objects and images to help you create stunning artwork. Toolbar Types Illustrator provides the following types of toolbar. Basic, this toolbar is displayed by default when Illustrator is launched. It includes a selective set of tools that you frequently need while working on Illustrator. To view the complete list of tools, click the Edit Toolbar icon displayed at the bottom of the Basic Toolbar. The All Tools drawer appears listing all the tools available in Illustrator. Advanced, this toolbar includes all the tools available in Illustrator. To switch from the Basic Toolbar to Advanced, do one of the following. Choose Windows Toolbars Advanced. Select Advanced in the flyout menu of the drawer. The basic toolbar is replaced with the advanced toolbar. Category of tools in the toolbar. In Illustrator, the tools are broadly organized in the following categories. Select. Draw. Type. Paint. Modify. Navigate. Customize the toolbar. You can customize a toolbar by moving tools between the toolbar and the drawer. You can add more tools from the drawer to the toolbar or remove tools from the toolbar. The tools can be added, removed, or rearranged in the toolbar only when the drawer is open. The toolbar is locked for editing when the drawer is closed. Add and remove tools. You can add one tool or multiple tools together as a group from the All Tools drawer to the toolbar. To add a one tool at a time in the toolbar, drag the tool and drop at the divider line between the tools. To remove a tool from the toolbar, drag the tool from the toolbar and drop it anywhere in the drawer. The tool is automatically added to the category to which it belongs. To go back to the original settings, click Reset in the flyout menu of the drawer. Add multiple tools in a group. You can select multiple tools from the drawer, irrespective of the categories they belong to and add them as one tool group in the toolbar. To select multiple tools together and add them as one custom group, do the following. 1. Press the Shift key and click the tools you want to add to the toolbar. Alternatively, use Ctrl plus click Windows or CMD plus click macOS to select multiple tools. 2. Drag the selection and drop at the divider line between tools in the toolbar. The icon for the tool you select first is displayed in the toolbar. Similarly, to remove multiple tools together, you can select them using the shift key and drag them from the toolbar to the drawer. View tools in a tool group. To view a list of all tools in a tool group, do one of the following. Left click the tool to view a list of all the tools in the tool group. Hold down Alt, Windows, or Option, macOS, and then click a tool to cycle through and select tools in the group. Press the keyboard shortcut of the tool. The keyboard shortcut is displayed in the tooltip in the All Tools drawer. For example, you can select the Move tool by pressing the V key. To hide tooltips, choose Edit Preferences General, Windows, or Illustrator Preferences General, macOS, and deselect Show Tooltips. Show or hide controls. You can show or hide the following controls on the toolbar by selecting their icons in the show section displayed at the bottom of the drawer. Control visibility of fill stroke control. Control visibility of coloring control. Control visibility of drawing mode control. Control visibility of screen mode control. Change drawing modes and screen modes using the toolbar. Click the icons at the bottom of the toolbar to change the drawing mode from Draw Normal to Draw Behind or Draw Inside. Additionally, you can also change the screen mode by clicking the Change Screen Mode icon at the bottom of the toolbar and choosing the desired screen mode. To switch to the Advanced Toolbar, which is a full-fledged toolbar including all the tools, do one of the following. Choose Windows Toolbars Advanced. Select Advanced in the flyout menu of the drawer. The basic toolbar is replaced with the advanced toolbar. Create and manage toolbars. Do the following.
following to create your own customized toolbars. In the drawer of the toolbar, choose New Toolbar in the Flyout menu. Choose Windows Tools New Toolbar. After you provide a name and click OK, a blank toolbar is created. Click the Edit Toolbar button to open the drawer and add tools to the toolbar. Manage Toolbars When you have multiple toolbars available, do the following to manage the toolbars. 1. Do one of the following to open the Manage Toolbars dialog box. Click Windows Tools Manage Toolbars. Choose Manage Toolbars in the Flyout menu of the drawer. 2. In the Manage Toolbars dialog box, do one of the following. Rename, select a toolbar from the list, type a new name for the toolbar in the text box, and then click OK. 2. Slash copy, select a toolbar from the list, click the copy button, rename the toolbar if required, and then click OK. If no toolbar is selected, a new toolbar is created. Delete, select a toolbar from the list, and then click the delete button.